Hello everybody and welcome. Breeze Cards here doing a special edition of the top 100 baseball cards of the 1980s. Please like and subscribe. I'm starting fresh with new videos. Next week I'm going to do the top 100 cards of the 1990s. And now I'm going to go back to the 70s. I got it all planned out. This list comes from Beckett's Magazine. Uh, some other people have done some videos on it. This is kind of a little more complete. But we're going to start off with number 100. Please like and subscribe my channel. I'm going to send a lot more videos, videos out soon. Uh, just getting back to the hobby. But uh, number 100, without any further ado, is a 1988 Fleer Update John Smoltz rookie card. And there is the 89 tops. Just some other Smoltz's. This is the 89 rookie from Bowman. The 89 rookie from Fleer. And then the 89 Dunruss. And the 89 score. But the original, the first one is this one, is the 88 Fleer update. So that's the true rookie card of John Smoltz. At number 99 is the 1981 Topps Harold Baines rookie card. Um, just some more copies. And this is actually behind it here is the 81 Fleer. So I wanted to add that in too, because that's his Fleer rookie card. And also in 85, Topps did a kind of like a draft pick where they selected some of the best players in the mid 80s and they did number one draft pick. So the number one draft pick from 1977 was Harold Beans and there's two of them. Okay, at number 98 on the list is the 1986 Fleer, card number 396, Mickey Hatcher, and that's just comedic uh, from the big glove that he's wearing. He must have been concentrating on his fielding. And here's the 83 rookie of Willie McGee at number 97. That's rookie card number 49, and that is the Willie McGee. And Mike Payne, in his article in Beckett Magazine, talked about him looking like the human E.T., at number 96 is Joe Charborough, and he was the Rookie of the Year. And uh, this is when the, the rookie cards became a craze. Uh, this is the card number 13 of the 1981 top set. At number 95 is the rookie card of Oral Hershiser. Uh, and that's his rookie card number 493 of the 1985 top set. And there's another one of that. In 1982, the Wizard of Oz, Ozzie Smith, and that's in a mint nine. That's his Topps traded uh, uh, rookie card, 109T. Uh, the Wizard of Oz was traded to the St. Louis Cardinals and would, and would help them move on to the World Series. So that's another copy. And there is the original with the San Diego Padres before he was traded. So we'll get that in there too. At number 93 is the 1985 Dunruss, two for the title. And this is when two teammates, Dave Winfield and Don Mattingly, went at it for the batting title in 1984. At number 92 is the 1985 Fleer, Pucky, uh, Kirby Puckett, rookie card number 286. At number 91 is the 88 Donruss Mark Race rated rookies. And I think that he had more hits than anybody in the 1980s, which is surprising to me. Um, couldn't have been in the 1980s because he came on so late. Maybe in the 1990s, I'm sorry. Uh, here's some other Mark Races I just throw in there. His rookie from Donruss and Fleer and score again i have all the sets from 1973 to present of all the brands up until 1981 1980 it was all tops and then in 1981 fleer and dunruss came out the only things that i got to work on collecting for my collection is i don't have the the opg's and the tiffany's and, and if you look at the cards in the 90s all the most of the you know expensive cards are all now tiffany's and, o, and opg's at number 90 is the 1985 Dunruss Dwight Gooden rookie card number 190. And I had to throw in his Fleer. 
Now, Topps uh, didn't come out with a, a real card of his own in, 80, in 85. It came out in 86. But here is what they did have was his um, most strikeouts. And then they had a... a they might have had a traded. I'm not sure. No, I know they had just traded for the strawberry in '83. But all right, here is number '89, the 1988 Upper Deck promo of Wally Joyner, card number 700. Now, this honestly, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually the '89. I don't have the '88 promo card. Uh, I looked through my sets, and I, not, it's not in there because I think it was a promo card. But I have other Wally Joyner cards to show you later. But we'll move on to number 88 on the list. The number 88 on the list was the two pure hitters of the decade and in the 70s as well. It was George Brett, Casey Royals, and Rod Carew. And there's other Brett cards in this one, top 100 cards. But there's not any more Rod Carew. So I just wanted to add his first card from 1980 just because it started off uh, the 80s. You know, Carew... It was one of the best pure hitters of all time. I have to get. I had to get a crew by himself on there. I mean, I have every Rod Carew card, but I, I figured the first one from the 1980s would be the most ideal. At number 87 is the 1988 Fleer rookie card of Ego Martinez. And so again, I had to add in the the Dunruss, the score which was 89, but they did, they also did one in 88, Dunruss, the rookies, Edgar Martinez. All right, at number 86 is the, the Python of 1984, Fleer, all-star second baseman for the Atlantic Braves, Glenn Hubbard with the Python wrapped around his neck. At number 85, okay, Again, honestly, I don't have the 1982 Donruss Diamond Kings Pete Rose. I have it uh, a year or two later, but I, I actually think that this card is better than this Fleer when he had the broke the Ty Cobb's record. I, I, I would put that card on the list where it breaks the record with 4,192 hits, becoming the all time hit leader, breaking Ty Cobb's. And here were some other ones that I thought, you know, 4,000 hits. The 81. Fleer Rose was always the 80 Rose is a highly tatted card, but of them all, when you look at lists from the 80s, this Pete Rose card sold for a lot of money in the 1981 Pete Rose, and I'm not really sure why. But if you look at if you look at look it up, uh, best cards in the 1980s, that 1981 Pete Rose is going to be on 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 that list of one of the most highly tatted cards from the 1980s, the most expensive cards uh, from the 1980s. At number 84 is the 1984 rookie card Fleer, card number 599 of Daryl Strawberry. There's another one. And then again, 1980, they did the draft pick. So he was the number one draft pick of 1980. This, this card is from 1985. All right, at number 83... At number 83 is the 1984 Dunruss Tony Gwynn. That's one of the ones I don't have. I do have the Fleer. I actually think that this card is, is better. It's a, it's a minor league card uh, of Tony Gwynn. Okay. I actually think that this card should have been on the list, the 83 Dunruss Tony Gwynn. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's very strange because Mike Payne, who wrote the Beckett article for the top 100 cards in the 1980s, uh, didn't include cards that he has has from the '80s in his 19 in his book titled the, the 300 Greatest Baseball Cards. Uh, these are on it. These these are in the book, but not on the list. These are in the the book, the 300 Greatest Baseball Cards of all time. The 1983 Fleer Tony Gwynn is in it, and the Dunruss is in it, but it didn't make the list for top 100. So I throw them in there as bonuses. Uh, number 82 is the 1987. Top's rookie card of Mark McGuire. That's card number 366. And because, again, this is toward this was actually towards the end of my collecting a little bit. As a, you know, becoming a freshman in high school, I didn't collect cards anymore for a while. You know, I probably started in 1974 or 75. 
and then stopped in 87, but then I would go back and do it. Here's one, another one that didn't make the list is the Dunruss 87 in a mint nine, also in Mike Payne's book. And the 1987 Fleer update Mark McGuire did not make the list, but I put it on the list. That's also in a mint nine. So these are both uh, mint nines. And here is a, a raw copy, which, you know, I have to get these cards sent in, but you know, it's expensive and it's time consuming and it's a pain in the you know what. So here's a Dunruss 87 again, raw copy. Here's the, uh, the Rookies 87, Mark McGuire. So I threw these in here. And I threw this in there just because it has the Topps rookie card. This is 88, Mark McGuire, the Topps rookie cup. So I threw that in there. And I found this one that I had to add in, the Toys R Us. Uh, just a bunch of ones. And then here's another one that made Mike Payne's book, so I had to put it in there. The 89 Upper, uh, upper Deck Mark McGuire. And I, oh, and this, sorry, a lot of 87 and 88 Mark McGuire. This is a Wal Walworth card, which is also worth a couple of bucks. Okay, but that's in at number 82. At number 81 is the 1981 Fleer error card, Fernando Valenzuela. And you can see this is in a mint nine. The error is Fernand. I should say Fernando. This is another copy of that. 81. Okay, he would also go on later in the, uh, in the tops. We'll go through that net. We'll get we'll get there soon enough. Here's an error card, another error card. This is the error card of Tom Seaver, and it's got him throwing left-handed, and it has him at number whatever number that is. But that is actually Floyd Bannister. Okay, here is the corrected Tom Seaver for number forty-two. Not number 24, as the other one said, because it was a, the wrong guy. And here, that, so that's... And I think they had him, yeah, they had him confused with Floyd Bannister. I don't know why I put this Richard Dotson in there. I thought maybe they confused him with Richard Dotson, but they confused him with Floyd Bannister. My, my error there. At number 79 is the 1980. One of my favorite cards growing up as a kid was the 1980 All-Star George Brett. And that was the year that he hit 390. There's another copy of it and another. And I threw I threw in two bonuses for this, okay? And the two bonuses are the Pine Tar Incident. This is the Fleer 1984 Brett and Perry, Gaylord Perry, George Brett, the Pine Tar Incident, 724.83. I had to throw that in there. One of my favorite moments in, of baseball Growing up as a kid was George Brett flipping out, and I gained respect for him for that. Uh, here's him batting 390. The Fleer caught that, so I had to add that in. And I used to love these uh, Drake's cards. And this one made, I think it made Mike Payne's book. Double check that one, but I threw that in there. At number 78 is the 1989 Upper Deck, Gary Sheffield, rookie card, number 13. All right, just have too many of these. Go through it quick. There is the score. The Donruss rated rookie, Sheffield. More Sheffield, uh, you know, I have tons of the future stars from Tops. right? Too many of these to go through. Clear again. There's the Bowman 89. There is a score. Toys R Us. Anyway, moving on to the next card at number 77. At number 77, I do not own, because I said I don't own the OPGs, the 1988 OPG Delino Shields, card number 88. But I threw in there instead a 19. 88 USA Tino Martinez um, or 89 I'm sorry uh, Tino Martinez autographed rookie card and here is without the autograph so I, I, I threw these in instead and, and a Robin Ventura because and we did Tino Martinez so there's the 87 uh, USA team and then his 
Bowman, rookie Tino Martinez. So I, I, I kind of replaced Delano DeShields with this Tino Martinez. I, the next card I do not own either. It's the 1982 Topps Kmart MVP Maury Wills, number two. I do have this 87 throwback of Maury Wills, one of the greatest shortstops uh, from the Dodgers uh, from the 60s. But I didn't think there was, so I kind of replace, if I don't have it, I replace it with something that I think is better. So I think this 1980, and that's not the best copy of it. This one's a little better. Actually, not really. This one might might be the best. I might have to send this one in. Uh, the 1980 Nolan Ryan is worth a lot of money if you have it in a mint 10. So these have to be, have to find my best one and send them into PSA. All right, at number 75, though, we do have. So I don't I don't, I don't have a couple, but I have most. I, I think I have all but four. Uh, here is the, and maybe I'm going to do a giveaway at the end. Uh, here's the 1987 Pomero rookie, Future Stars. That's card number 634, and I just have an overabundance of these. Like I said, digging through boxes and boxes of my sets. You know, it basically took a week to put this together. At number 74... Is a 1987 Dunris rookie, Barry Larkin, and so I threw in the Fleer as well. But the Dunris is on the list, and I was looking. I don't know where his tops went. I don't. Maybe he didn't have a tops. Uh, number 73 is a 1987 tops rookie, Barry Bonds, and we have a bunch of those. I'm gonna try and speed it up here because. I don't want to take too long on these videos, but there's a lot to get through. So bear with me, please. There is a Fleer Heroes. This is this one didn't make the list. The '86 rookies Barry Bonds didn't make the list. Uh, a couple other ones. I don't know. I got crazy with Barry Bonds. I was just pulling Barry Bonds after Barry Bonds. Don't know why. All right, let's get on to the next card. At number 72 is a 1984 Donruss Joe Carter, number 41. Don't have that, but I thought that this was maybe better. The John Elway minor league card with, with the Oneonta Yankees. I thought that this card was as good, if not better. And you know what? If that doesn't make it, the Roberto Alomar rookies. So here's a bunch of Roberto Alomar's rookies. All right, at number 71 is the 1984 Nestle Don Mattingly. Now, I don't have the Nestle one. I have the tops, which I'll show you later. But since I don't have that, I replaced that with Mr. October. And this card, they call him Mr. Baseball, the 1981 Fleer. Uh, sorry, there's a piece of hair on that. Don, oh, my cat, Don, uh, sorry, Reggie Jackson. I had to get Jackson in this list, the 80. And just... You know, I was watching another video and somebody mentioned it might have been Ray. No, it might have been um, Silver Jackify. Uh, Danny Ainge didn't make a well, Here's his rookie. Uh, Danny Ainge, 1981 Fleer. Uh, and he was well known for playing with the Celtics as well. All right. At number 70 is the 1982 Fleer, Kyle Rifkin. And I have that in a... Excellent to mint. And I would like to actually get that graded again. At number 69. Ooh, tough card to get. I'm trying to get it. Can't get it. It's the 1987 Dunras opening day. Number 163A. Because it was corrected. Barry Bonds error. Featuring Johnny Ray. So since I don't have that, I put in the Sammy Sosa uh, rookie. And that's from 1989, Dunruss, and that's in a nine. Okay, it's in a mint nine. So I replaced the Barry Bonds, Johnny J, uh, Johnny Ray error with a Sammy Sosa. All right, uh, number 68. Now, the, from here on, I think I have most, if not all, the cards. At 68 is the 1989 Upper Deck John Smoltz, number 17, rookie card. Tons of those. At number 67 is the 1982-83 Chicken. The Chicken. And I have the 82 too, but I don't know why I just put the 83 in. Uh, at number 68 is the 1982 John Littlefield. Now, 
This is the corrected version. There's an error with him looking like a lefty pitcher, which he wasn't. It was a reverse negative photo. So therefore, I had don't have that one. So I put in some other ones as bonuses. When I don't have it, I put in bonus. The Lee Smith 81 rookie and some David Cohn rookies that I liked that I thought maybe should have made the list. These are all David Cohn rookies. Okay. At number 65, 65 is the 1987 Fleer Greg Maddox U68 and some other okay moving on to number 64 is the 1985 the Rocket Roger Clemens and that's in an 8 and that is the 85 Donruss, number 273, and there's another copy of it, which it might be better than that one. Centering is good. So, at number 63 is the 1986 Donruss, the rookies, Wally Joyner. At number 62, oh, here's some other Wally Joyners I just throw in for bonuses. 87 Fleer. 87 Donruss, limited edition 87, highlights, okay. All right, so we just move on. We'll go on to number 62, which is the 1988 Tops Tom Glavin rookie, number 779. And got a bunch of those. But what didn't make it was the, here's the Donruss 88 rookie. That didn't make it, and... Rookie prospect from score, Tom Glavin, did not make the list. At number 61 is the 1989 Bowman Ken Griffey Jr. And I put that, you know what, I have it further down the list, which I'll show you. I have it under the Tiffany. I don't have the Tiffany, so I replaced that with the Bash Brothers. And I thought that Conseco should have made the list. So I put in some Consecos. And I'll show you the number 61, 1989 Bowman, Ken Griffey Jr. Rookie, I put him up where the Tiffany is listed, but I'll show you that later. Okay, so now we go on to number 60. At number 60 is the 1988 Tops Traded, and this is in a Gem Mint 10, Jim Abbott, USA Baseball. And remember, Jim Abbott only had one arm. And there's his number one draft pick. And there's another Jim Abbott rookie and another. And I also have his USA 87 baseball card. All right, at number 59 is the 1987 Fleer Barry Bonds. And I have that graded as an eight. But I also have it raw and it's a good copy. Uh, well, that's off-centered. You can see the off-centering, so that's not as good. Okay. At number 55 is the 1983 Fleer Wade Boggs rookie card. And that's at... Now, some of these are raw. They're not, you know, they're not all in best shape, but, you know, it's not easy to get them all in tip-top shape. Number 179. They're not all perfect out of the packs, guys. Here is the, at number 57, the 88 Dunruss highly tatted Greg Jeffries. I'm sorry, just throwing some other, some others. Those are us. Okay, at number fifty-six is the 1984 Fleer Don Mattingly rookie card, and I have that in a excellent eight mint eight. Okay, at number 55 is the 1987 Classic Games, Bo Jackson, and sorry for the, I taped that up there. Uh, shoulder pads and football jersey with a baseball Auburn hat and a baseball bat. Football uniform with a baseball hat and it's a dual sports legend, no bow. Oh, that's another one I got to pull. I got to pull, oh, that's for 90, okay. 
uh, it's for the 90s. In 1954, uh, no, no, sorry, number 54, and number uh, 1981, Tops, Fernando Valenzuela, number 302, rookie card. And a couple of those. At number 53 is a 1989 Upper Deck, Randy Johnson. This is in a Gem Mint 10. Okay. Some, some more of those. At number 53. At number 52 is a 1988 and a Gem Mint 10. 88 score, Roberto Alomar. Okay, did I miss him and not put the other ones in there? Okay, we'll get back to that. I have a bunch of Roberto Alomars. I don't know why I didn't add them in there. Okay, other rookie cards. Here is the 85 Fleer rookie card at number 51 of Roger Clemens, number 155, and that is in an ape. Mint eight, and there's another one. Okay. At number 50, we're halfway done. Sorry for the long video, but we'll get through it. Is the 1989 Dunruss and a Gem Mint 10. Ken Griffey Jr., the rookies. And there's another copy of it. And I added in the 89 Baseball's Finest, Ken Griffey. I like that card. I added in some other ones that didn't make it. The 89 Fleer Glossy Ken Griffey Jr. And that's in a Mint 9. And there's another copy of that. And then I added in the 90, the 89 Score Traded in a Mint 9. Ken Griffey Jr., which did not make the list. And the Diamond Kings didn't make the list. And one of my favorites is the 89... San Bernardino 88 Spirit, Ken Griffey Jr. And that is in a near mint seven. Okay, at number 49 is 1987 Dunruss in a mint eight Barry Bonds. There's another copy of that. Send that one in. That one's pretty sharp. At number 48. Is the 1987 Tops rookie card Bo Jackson Future Stars? And here's a bunch of those. At number, oh, why are you have this in here? All right, here's an add in. Not sure where I put this right here, but I put this in. Uh, Thurman Munson. Card never to be. He passed away in, in 79, but this was the card that would have been in 1980. The memoriam in memoriam. And I had to add that in there. And I had to add in a Frank Thomas USA 87 USA baseball card. I had to add those into this list. At number, where is the, wait a minute here. Oh, I know why I put that there because at number 47 is 83 OPG Tony Gwynn rookie card. I only have the tops, which I'll show you later because it's in the. So I replaced. Those were my replacements. At number 46 is the 1981 Near Mint 6 Tim Raines tops traded rookie card. At number 45 is the Eric Davis tops 1985 rookie card. Okay, at number 44 is the Fleer Update 1984 Pete Rose. I have that in packaging. At number 43 is the 1985 Topps Dwight Gooden rookie card. That's off centered. And that one's a little bit better. At number 42 is the 1983 Highly Tattered Rookie. Ron Kittle and the Fleer. That's card number 241. I added in the tops. At number 41 is the 1989 Tops traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card number 411, and that's in a mint nine. And there's another copy of that. 
At number 40 is the 1981 rookie card of Kirk Gibson. And I had to add this in because this made Mike Payne's book when he hit the, the home run in the World Series. I said, he don't want to walk you. Tommy this way. Or Sparky Anderson. All right, next one is number 39, the 1988 score traded Craig Biggio in a mint nine. Card number 103T in a mint nine. And here is another copy of it. And of course, I'll just go through a quick Biggio tops, tops, rookie, tops. Fleer rookie. I did this for Alomar too, but I don't know what it did. And that's the score. Those are all rookies from 88. And some 89 maybe. All right, here is the number 38 on the list. The 1987 tops traded in a mint 10, Greg Maddox. And here's another copy of that. At number 37 is the 1986 Dunruss. Oh, here's another Maddox that I wanted to add in there first. This is the Dunruss 87, the rookies, Greg Maddox. But at number 37 is the 1986 Dunruss rookie, Fred McGriff. And most, most would get him in 87, like Dunruss got his rookie card in 87. But... First one was the 86 Dunruss rated rookie. At number 36 is the 1989 Dunruss Ken Griffey Jr. rated rookie. And got a few of those. At number 35 is the 1986 Tops traded Jose Canseco. At number 34. Is the 1984 Tops Daryl Strawberry rookie card, and that's in a nine. But I also have the autograph and a few more copies of that. Because that was probably around the peak of my collecting. Well, a little bit after the peak. At number 33 is the 1981 error card, Greg Nettles, spell with a C. Okay, there's the card, and here's the corrected version with Greg and Greg. So you can see the difference. There's the error. Craig with a C, and there is the, so if you look, there's actually not that much difference between a C and a G, so I can see, kind of get it, uh, and Greg and Craig, so. All right, next is the 19, at number 32, is the 1982 Donruss, Cal Ripken Jr. At number 31 is the 1986 Fleer Update. Barry Bonds in a mint nine. And here is another copy of that. All right. At number 30, getting down the list, is the 1986 Tiffany Will Clark in a mint nine. Tops Tiffany. So I also threw on the tops. to see the difference. One's more glossy. At number 29 is the 1989 Rainey Johnson Marlboro on the back. Number 381. This is in a Gem Mint 10. It's an error card. I don't really see the Marlboro sign. I'm not really sure what people are talking about. I see Coke. But maybe the Coke is the corrected one version. I don't know. All right. Number... Oh, and then here's some Rainey Johnsons that I thought should have made it. I got this in a nine. That's a Topps Traded Rookie. 
you know, a bunch of Randy Johnsons that I thought should have made it. There's another copy of it. There's another. And that's from the Mariners. One's the Expos, that's the traded. This is the Mariners where he tra traded from. There's the 89 rookie score. There is the Donruss 89 rated rookie. 89 Donruss the rookies. Randy Johnson. The other the other tops. There's the Woolworth. There's the Bowman. And there is the score. Another score. Alright. Moving on down the list. At number 28 is the 1981 Donruss. Tim Raines, rookie card number 538. I also threw in the tops. And Mike Payne also had the tops on the on his list. I got a bunch of those. At number 27. Moving on down the list. At number 27 is the 1986 Donruss. The rookies, Bo Jackson and Gem Min 10. And here is another copy of it, which could also be a Gem Min 10. At number 26 is the 1985 Tops Curry Pocket Rookie. And there's another one. Number 25 is the 1985 Tops Roger Clemens Rookie. Three of those. At 1984, at number 24, is the 1984 Tops Tiffany Don Manningly. I said I don't have the Tiffany. I don't have the Nestle. I have the Tops. So because I don't have it, I put a substitute in there. So my substitute for the Nestle, or the Tiffany, I'm sorry, Manningly, is the Kurt Schilling rookie card in a mint nine. And with another bonus of the 1980 Ozzy Smith and hit this 87 error card. Ozzy Smith and on the back is the credentials of Steve the Steve Sachs. All right, at number 23 is the 1983 Way Boggs Tops card number 498. Okay, so we got a bunch of these, and I'll have to move these over a little bit to so the screen here. And there's another one. All right, at number 22, 22 is the 1984 FLIR update, the Dr. Dwight Gooden. Card number U43. It's an update. Uh, number 21 is a 1989 Upper Deck Reverse Negative Dale Murphy in a Mint 8. And to show you, this is the... See, they got him batting left-handed. Dale Murphy was a right-handed hitter, and that's the actual photograph. That's the reverse negative. That's the this is the error. At number 20 is the 1984 Dwight Gooden Tops Trade. Card number 42T in a mint nine. At number 19 is the 1986 Tops Trade Bo Jackson. Five card number five 50T in a mint eight. No, Mint 9. Sorry, Mint 9. Anything Mint 9 or higher is going to be worth money. The trick is to get them graded. You got to get them graded. All right. I'm missing a card. Where is the... Oh, that's why. Here's some extra bonus Bo Jackson that didn't make the list. The 87 rated rookie. The 86 highlight. The, again, 87 rated rookie Dunruss. Dunruss, the rookies, another set. 
there's the FLIR 87 and then okay it's a more Bo Jackson set I thought could have coulda should have would have made the list at number 18 is 1987 Dunris Greg Maddox rookie card a couple copies of that at number 17 is the 1981 Tops traded Fernando Mania Fernando Valenzuela and a Gem Mint 9 from the 1981 Tops traded card number 850 and there is another copy of it and then I threw in the 81 Fleers and the 82 tops because you couldn't get the tops traded in packs as a little kid. So I collected and to me the 82 tops was considered for me as a rookie for a long time. Getting back to where we left off before. This is the Bowman at number 16. They have the Bowman Tiffany Ken Griffey Jr. I don't have the Tiffany, but I have the Bowman. And I have two copies. Um, I think this one's a little better. I think that one's a little more centered to send in but this one is a little bit off centered two copies of that at number 15 is the 1983 tops rookie card of ryan sandberg and a gem mint nine and there's another copy there's another there's another and there's the 83 fleer rookie ryan sandberg at number 14 so i throw some bonuses in some guys sorry it's a long video this is the way that i operate Number 14 is 1986 Tops Traded Rookie Barry Bonds. Card number 11T. There's another one. At number 13 is a 1983 Tops Traded. A Gem Mint 9. Daryl Strawberry. And there's another one. So I added in the 84 Donruss and... Fleer, because those are his Fleer and Dunruss rookies. There's the tops traded in 83. The 84, I think, is further down the list for tops. Here is the 1982, number 12 on the list. This is the 1982 tops Cal Ripken Jr. rookie card, number 21, right in the center there. And there's another copy. At number 11, this one I have. Is the 1984 Topps Don Mattingly rookie card? And I have to figure out which one is the best to send in to PSA. At number 10, getting down to the top 10, is the 1984 Fleer Update Kirby Pocket. At number 9, that's card number U93, is the 1983 Topps rookie card. Tony Gwen, and I have a few of these to submit. At number eight is the Jose Canseco 1986 Donruss card number 39 in a mint nine. At number seven is the 1984 Fleer Update Roger Clemens, The Rocket. Update, rookie, Fleary, update, 84. Uh, don't know why I threw that in there. For some reason, I did. All right. At number six of all time is the 1989 Fleer error card with the FF on the knob of the bat, Billy Ripken. Error card, one of the most famous rook error cards of all time. At number five is the 1985 Topps Mark McGuire rookie card number 42. This is the Tiffany, and that's in a mint eight. That's the Tiffany. And here are the ones that I have to send in. This one's off-centered. That one's pretty good. Sharp edges. This one's pretty good, too. So these have to be sent in. At number four is the 1980 Ricky Henderson rookie card, number 482. That one is not bad. 
to send in. Sharp edges, centering's pretty good. Maybe a little off to the right, maybe. They're hard to get centered perfectly. This one's good. Anyway, I have a bunch of them to get graded. Uh, number three is the 1982 Tops Traded. Cal Ripken Jr. 98T, and that's in a mint seven. I also had one in a mint eight. Sold it. And here's another one. And just to, there is the Cal Ripken Charlotte rookie card. And there is the Another rookie, another rookie card. Legends, I think it's the Red Wings. And the 87 All-Star, this made Mike Payne's book. These are all one at number three, and I threw this in there. Uh, at number two, at number two, is the 1984 Donruss. Don Mattingly, rookie card. Okay, and at number one on the list, we've got this in, the video is long. Number one is the 1989 Upper Deck, Ken Griffey Jr. I want to do a giveaway at the end of this video, is the autographed rookie, 1989, number one, Ken Griffey Jr. There's another copy. There's another, there's another, there's another. All right, and end with some errors. It's Gary Pettis' son. It's an error card, 85. And the Robin Yount error with Sean Hillegas in the back. There's the corrected version. All right, so the giveaway is going to be whoever is the first person to respond down below on the comments, they will get this. And just tell me what their favorite card of 1980s was. Is the this two, uh, 2,131 most consecutive games ticket. All right. And it comes with this pack of cards from that game. And it also comes with a... Uh, it's like a credit card. All right. Please respond down below. Like, like and subscribe to Breeze Cards. This is my first video I've done in a while. And I'm going to do the top 100 of the 1990s next week. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Sorry this was long. Enjoy the day. Peace.